in calculating the integral of sine to the third of x cosine x, let us take u to be sine x, then du is cosine x dx. So dx can be written as du divided by cosine x can basically see that this integral becomes the integral of u to power 3 and write down cosine x or dx write down du divided by cosine x. Then you can cancel out the common factor cosine x. So this guy becomes the integral of u to the third du that you already know how to calculate. Whenever you have the integral of u to power n du, this is u to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, which is a familiar formula. If you apply it here, this becomes 1 fourth u to power 4 plus c. We are not done yet. We have to substitute u back. We get 1 fourth sine x to power 4 plus c, or you can simplify that as 1 fourth sine to power 4 x plus c. Just a quick reminder for you. When you write sine to power 2, it mainly saying that, hey, you take sine function and multiply it by itself twice. This usually is written as sine raised to power 2 of x. This is not the same as sine of x squared. Sine of x squared, it means that the exponent belongs to x. But when you write 2 on top of sine, it means that you multiply sine function by itself twice. The same as sine of x to power 3, which is basically sine x times sine x times sine x three times or sine to power 3 of x, which is not the same as sine x to power 3. So when you write sine x to power 3, this 3 belongs to x. It doesn't belong to sine function. Let's pay attention here. It's a common mistake for students. They usually make mistakes when they write it this way. So another example for you. Suppose I ask you to calculate or evaluate the following integral. The integral of sine of 2x plus 3 dx. We're going to apply the method of substitution here. We're going to take the quantity inside sine function as your u. So u is 2x plus 3 and du becomes 2 dx or dx is du divided by 2. Your integral is the integral of sine of u and dx can be written as du divided by 2. In a simpler version, this is a half integral sine u du that you already know how to deal with. When you have the integral of sine u du, it is negative cosine u plus c. So you can write this integral as negative a half cosine u plus constant of integration. Don't forget to do the substitution here. And your integral is negative a half cosine parentheses 2x plus 3 plus constant of integration. 